Oh, right now? Right now? Right now? Oh, okay. Well, hey, everybody. This is the Lady 31, and... This is Emmanuel outside the church, also known as EOTC. And in case you had an opportunity to watch our first love therapy quiz, um, we hope you enjoyed that. We said it would be kind of goofy, and we are back with another five-question quiz to see if you're smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> and so, are, are you ready to do the quiz? So, I guess as as you can see, we're we're back inside the 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 cozy beauty room, hiding out from the kids once again. And and speaking of the kids, I, I have something that I need to share. <laughs> is is that okay, hon? <laughs> I guess so. Okay, so our our children earlier this week asked when we were gonna do another quiz for you guys, and I let them know that we were working on a quiz. So they had some things that they felt was very important for us to mention to <laughs> the people watching these quizzes. So okay. is that okay if I I share? I, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so actually, our 13-year-old Mr. Origami is what he is called because he's into origami, and, and that's what we suggested a bonus quiz question. So okay. so why don't we start out with that one? <laughs> okay, since I don't so, know what that is. Okay, gonna so that. I'm going to read what the bonus <laughs> quiz question is. He said that... This is that supposed to be scripted, but we'll go ahead. It is not supposed to be scripted. No. We never go by the script. We, uh -huh. we don't have time to, to work <laughs> on and follow a script. But here's what, he, here's what he had to say. So he suggested this question. True or false... Our parents sometimes forget our names <laughs> <laughs> and call us the wrong names when things are chaotic. True or false? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. So, um, it's true. Yes, it is. It is very true. Oh yeah. In the heat of the in the heat of the moment, depending on what's going on, when you're trying to call the kids. Sometimes you, well, sometimes I, or we, yeah, me too, um, guilty, <laughs> call the kids by the wrong name. Um, <laughs> if they're running around, they're just being kids, right? Just enjoying being a young person. Um, they can sometimes get a little chaotic, <laughs> and so when you're trying to ask someone to slow down, sit down, do your homework. Sometimes it's boy, sometimes it's you may, whatever. Hey, you, yeah. hey, have you, a seat. <laughs> whatever. Um, it can be anything. So, yeah, it's true. Well, don't act like we're the only ones that do it. I know some of you out there do it too, so I'm not going to feel bad about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and so the next thing is from our seven year old daughter. We call her Miss Twirls a lot. And actually, what she had to say wasn't another quiz question. It was more of a comment. <laughs> um, our seven-year-old daughter, bless her heart, God gave her the gift of voice. And she is very, very articulate. And she speaks her mind a lot <laughs> in this she family. Does. And um, so on one of our love therapy pages um on the blog we did a getting to know the love birds and we had some information about our children um the question asked how long have we been married or okay. something on the lines of that do we have any children and so that was where we mentioned our kids names and ages two boys mr origami nascar crooner and miss twirls a lot and so miss twirls a lot is miss twirls a lot because she dances all of the time she will dance while she talks to you she'll dance on the way to wash her hands she'll twirl with her dinner plate on the way to the table so the girl loves to dance so miss hmm. twirls a lot seems appropriate right makes sense well 
what she said to me in the car on the way home from school okay. was that she wanted you all to know that she is a very talented artist and I neglected to include the word artist in her name title somewhere along with the Ms. Twirls a lot. <laughs> she wanted the world to know that. Okay. And okay. she also suggested a true or false question. Okay. Her true or false question is about our other son, the NASCAR crooner. Okay. So, she said, this is what you guys need to ask. True or false, the NASCAR crooner flagellates at the grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> and um, she was quite proud of her question. And I, I told the kids that, that I would mention what they had to say. And the answer to that is going to be true. <laughs> but she should have included herself in that question. <laughs> because it's true for her as well. So, okay, so that's that. So let's, let's move on to, to our official quiz questions now that we've gotten that out in the open. Okay, so you, you got the first question, on. You sure? I'm certain. Because when we started this thing, you said I was going to have the first question, and you already asked two questions already. Oh. Well, you have the first official question. Okay. Smarty pants. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so, number one, true or false, it says EOTC never calls Lady 31 by her birth name. Um... I gave her a nickname while dating, and we later learned that the nickname had the same meaning as her birth name. Is that true or false? What do you guys think? What do you think? It's true. It is true. It's true. Um, what do you call me, honey? So, when I met her, um, there's a lot of things about her that I, I really liked. Um, and so the only word that I could think of to capture all that I appreciated about her and, and respected about her was beautiful. And um, I guess some, I don't know, about a few years ago, we, we found out through... Um, Is it a baby shower? Is that what it was? It was actually at a baby shower for our firstborn. Oh, so it wasn't a few years ago then. Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a long time it was, ago. It was more than a decade ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time ago. It was See, more I was than a referring ago. to a, um, a, a plaque, or not necessarily a plaque, but it's a, it's a framed poem with our names, and it has um, like a, a definition of what the name means, along with like. Um, some nice sentences and words kind of put together like a poem so that's what I was referring to and if I'm not mistaken we received that a few years ago yeah that's, right? from, that's from my mom my mom and dad right so that's what I was referring to <laughs> me but um, I honestly forgot about the baby shower yeah, that's just a terrible. Long time ago. That's just sad. That if we were if we were ago. on a newlywed game, you would have messed that question <laughs> up for us. <laughs> yeah, we would yeah, have lost. Have. <laughs> that's not the only question that they asked, though. I mean, that's true, but that's, that's such an easy one. You should knew that. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all right. I forgive you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> so. Let's move on to our next so you question. Think you're doing the next one, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I totally am. Hey, okay. but wait a minute. I have a question, though. Since we're talking about nicknames. So this is question four. Just <laughs> just keep track of this, right? <laughs> it was five questions, right? We're on question four right now. Go ahead. This doesn't count. It doesn't count? It okay. doesn't. Okay. okay. So my question is, did, did you have any nicknames growing up, you know, from like kids in the neighborhood or... Anything that that you can share, <laughs> anything what, that's anything want, that's PG. <laughs> what what like uh, 
I, I, yeah, I had some nicknames. <laughs> I don't know how nice they were, but they were oh, some nicknames. I'm sorry, honey. What? <laughs> I mean, I'll share them. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> what? 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 Is there oh, a specific I, no, one you're looking for? No, I just for? wanted to know if it was like a nice nickname. I don't. I don't want to talk about mean things. I, I, don't, I can't really think of so any nice. nice ones really right now. Not as a kid. A kid? Nice yeah. names as a kid? Well, I had some 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 cool nicknames. Really? Yeah, like in high Which school one? and college. T T. T T. T T and well, well, that's high school though. I thought you were talking about like little kid, like elementary school or middle well, school. You know, just growing up. T T. No. T T the turtle. Well, once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to take all day and dress. That only takes me fifteen minutes. 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, that's, that's great. But my friends used to call me T.T. the Turtle. Because he used to take a, a, long, a long time, time to trying to get ready when we were going out. Okay. T.T. the Turtle. Right on. It was something else, but I'm not going to mention that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, I had nicknames. <laughs> you want me to share one, right? No, Since that's you... okay. No, right. it, it sounded like it was very bad. It, was, it wasn't, like, horrible, but it was not that Good, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so let's skip that question. So let's move it on because. Why? Okay, fine. You want to share? Go ahead. Why not? Go ahead. Do, um, I have to, do I have to cover my ears? No, it's not like bad words. Well, I know it's not bad words, but I don't want to hear anything mean. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Kids are so cruel. Dumbo was one. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. so mean. Why? Well, yeah, it was mean because I, I mean. I like yeah. your ears. They are nice. They are. They are nice because they're attached to my head, and God made me, so I, I'm I'm happy with them. Aww. But you know, when you're a kid, you sometimes you kind of grow into things, right? Oh, I see. So you know, my ears were the same size as they are now when I was. <laughs> When I was uh, in elementary oh. school and middle school and a baby. Oh, my no, goodness. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. on that note, we are going to move on to the next question. <laughs> question number, number, official question number two. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. So, true or false, Lady 31's nickname for Emmanuel outside the church is related to foods that taste Sweet. <laughs> sweet. That was the word I was trying to say. Foods that taste sweet. Is that true or is that false? <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Okay. So, if you want to know what I call this, this handsome young gentleman next to me, it is, let's count the names, chocolate. Sugar, honey, bear. Chocolate, sugar, honey, bear. That is what I call him. And almost every one of those words includes some kind of sweet treat or some kind of food. And, I mean, obviously the, the chocolate part is self-explanatory. Your yeah. very nice complexion is very attractive. Thank and you. I don't know if I should be saying this on camera. It's done now. Yeah. That's true. Okay. And then and I'm uh, not editing <laughs> this. So however this comes out is what you guys are, are this is what you see. This is what you get. Okay. And then the the <laughs> then the then the the sugar bear part came from hey, you remember that cereal back in the eighties? <laughs> you remember that, that, that bear, what was it? Was it was it like super golden crisp or something? <laughs> But it was that it was I, that, yeah, that, that that cool bear. Yeah, right. I remember that. Yeah, I don't remember the name of the cereal. Uh, yeah, I, I think it was like something about some golden crisps grams? and golden. No, not never mind. Okay, but anyway, um, yes, I love food. I if you haven't figured it out cereal. by now, and I, I eat a lot of and like I like sweets, and he's sweet, and I'm sweet on him. So, which is interesting because I really don't like sweets at all. Not at all. I have to beg him to eat a piece of birthday like cake or something like, with me. I don't me. like sugar. I don't like it. You like me? That's different. Okay. 
your sugar is mixed with a lot of other things. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's let's <laughs> let's move on to to question number three before you start to make me blush. Oh, okay. My turn. <laughs> yes, yeah, about that question's about you. <laughs> oh, okay. So next question is um, EOTC me. You finds forgot to outerwear. say true or false. Oh, true, true or, or false. True or false. True or false. EOTC me um, finds outerwear unnecessary <laughs> and avoids wearing it all year round, even to holiday parties at people houses in the winter. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, let me tell you, let me tell you something. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> if you see this guy wearing any kind of outerwear, it is because he's trying to please his lovely wife who has asked him to please put on some outerwear so that he does not catch a cold. I don't know what it is, but this guy, like this guy does not <laughs> like outerwear. Oh I mean, God. he'd rather wear this this special pullover with <laughs> <laughs> with everything Cheating. I have tried and tried and tried to Look, get rid that of that pullover. pullover. That pullover has been with me for a long time. Okay. We're talking like 14, 15 years. It's still in good shape. Mm. It is. It is still look brand new. Well, I'm going to say this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a certified <laughs> Christian image consultant, <laughs> and I don't know that that looks brand new. <laughs> but I'm gonna let that go. I, I just, I just gave up trying to get rid of it and throw it in the garbage. Last year, I, I received a compliment on that pullover. Last year, <laughs> while you were like, sleeping a nice <laughs> in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I, I just, I just, I just let it go like frozen. Hey, yeah. if he wants to wear it, go right ahead and wear it when we're not together. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, no, you're not. <laughs> She's serious. I know. I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Right oh on. man, this next question. This one is hilarious. <laughs> Okay. So it's question True six. True or false? It's not. <laughs> this is an official question on the quiz. Okay. <laughs> True or false? It used to rain inside of the very first car that Emmanuel <laughs> outside the church and Lady 31 owned as a married couple. Rain <laughs> inside the car. <laughs> The very first car that we own wow. as a married couple. True or false? You can tell by the look on his face that it's true. <laughs> it is true. It is so, so is true. true. Oh my gosh. Yeah, um, my first car, <laughs> um, it was nice when I bought it. Mm. And then, mm, mm, mm. that was before we were married. And then mm. I, I ended up doing something stupid and... Ended up getting into a car accident, and then I didn't have the money to get it fixed. So, mm -hmm. over time, I tried to get it repaired. I tried to let people repair it who didn't really know what they were doing. And then I still had it when we met, which means that she really loved me. I really loved him. Because mm -hmm. looking at that car. Mm -hmm. Looking at that car. Yeah. I mean, you know, one of the doors is one of my <laughs> favorite colors. <laughs> Yeah. You know I was in it for love, <laughs> right, Dad? <laughs> Absolutely. There's no doubt in my mind that she didn't love me looking at that car. Because it was, <laughs> I think it was three different colors. <laughs> and you can what? smell gasoline <laughs> from the inside. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. And then, like, yeah. <laughs> and then the one door didn't have any, um... <laughs> Didn't have any insides on the one door on the oh, driver's side, gracious. and then yeah. Oh, and then when and it then would it rain, rained. the ceiling, all the water would collect in the ceiling. <sighs> yeah. And I was, oh goodness, I was pregnant. Wow. With our our firstborn. Yeah. And um, when we got married, I, and then and then I used to drive that car to work before I got so sick that I had to stop working and. 
every time I would turn a corner while driving that car, the rain just came <laughs> pouring down in my lap so much that <laughs> I had to take a bunch of a bunch of blankets. <laughs> Some, some comforters. Yeah, I, I had to that. take some comforters and oh. I would have to put them in my lap to keep from being wet if it rained by the time I got to work. I forgot about that. Yeah. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'm so sorry. That's okay. <laughs> wow. I'm glad things are better now. Yeah, me too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Wow. Okay. And we're still together. Yeah. <laughs> After that car. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. So our last question. Uh, seventh question is <laughs> true or false. not the seventh <laughs> question. This is the official question on the quiz. Okay. Um, EOTC me, Lady thirty thirty one 31 her, dress identical like twins <laughs> most of the time when they are out in public for date night. Or an afternoon outing with the kids so without that... Without the kids. No. Oh, without the kids. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, so that they can easily find one another <laughs> if they get... If they're separated. <laughs> <laughs> because of all the other questions and the ridiculousness, it seems like that would be true. But it's not. It's, it's false. It, it is false. Yeah. Yeah, it is false. But... But... Okay. I will say... We don't dress like identical twins, but a lot of times we do coordinate. Yeah. We do coordinate, right? Yeah, like, it does happen. Kind of like our picture for love therapy on the on the blog, right? Right. Yeah, I get, yeah. That yeah, makes sense. We coordinate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't, why do we do that? Why do we coordinate? Yeah. Just 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 for fun. Well, see, sometimes it's not even planned at all. You know, right, right. I this is my space. His space is downstairs to get ready, and so I will. It's all yeah. the way downstairs in the basement in a closet. This in her office, by the way. Well, it it used to be your office. Yeah, it used to be, but, but it, it it better. Well, first you. it was the playroom. Right, it was the playroom first. <laughs> then it was your office, but yeah, then office, then but he blessed me with the the room for an office, yeah, and I work down it. there, and I didn't need it anymore. Yeah from downstairs up and we'll meet in the kitchen and I'll come down and we'll have on the same colors. Yeah, that, that does actually happen quite often, which I'm actually, I mean, I, I feel like it's just a Holy Spirit thing, you know, just that one accord kind of, uh, you know, God speaking to you. I don't know. That's the only thing I can, that's the only thing I can think of or why it happens so often. It's my, my assumption anyway. Yeah, I, mean, I guess I, I would have to agree with that, you yeah. know. Oh my gosh, do you hear that? Yep. Somebody is knocking on the door. Made. Oh my gosh. We've been made. They figured out where we were. Uh -oh. <laughs> Wait, maybe if we be quiet. <laughs> maybe, if we, maybe, if we, maybe if we're quiet, he'll go away. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. Yeah. No. I think this is, we're, we're going to have to wrap it up folks um, okay. family thank you for watching this is <laughs> um lady 31 inside the beauty room and i'm emmanuel inside the church thank you for watching us um if you continue to enjoy what you're looking at please um just like us on make good comments on the website um please like us do. on no facebook um, if just, you don't like it just it. don't watch it <laughs> <laughs> inappropriate <laughs> <laughs> i mean that's what you feel all right so it is well, that's okay <laughs> that works um so just thank you for checking us out thank you for watching and thank we'll you. see you soon okay maybe next time we'll see you from a different space probably not <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Bye, god bless